National Blood Donor Month, and this year, all the donations are needed, all types of blood are needed to offset a national blood supply shortage that continues to impact the local community. Joining me now is District Community Development Coordinator of Life South, Karen Patterson. Karen, thank you so much for joining us this morning and talking to us about this shortage. Of course, thank you so much. When we talk about this shortage, how bad is it right now? Right now, it's pretty bad. Um, we're currently in emergency need for most blood types, especially type O. We're actually facing a national blood shortage with the pandemic happening right now. So donations are needed right now more than ever. What impact has the pandemic had on these blood donations specifically? It's been very significant. A lot of our larger businesses now are working remotely and about 20% of our donor base comes from the ages of 18 to 25. So with our local universities and high schools not having blood drives, we've seen a significant dip in donations and we really need people to come out and take the time to donate. You can save three lives in just 45 minutes. And when we talk about this situation, this perspective, is it in communities like Jacksonville that are pretty dense or is this also applicable to very rural places across the it's country? Applicable. Sure, it's applicable to pretty much all places. Um, right now in Jacksonville, we're seeing the COVID cases spike. Um, so in addition to needing regular blood donations, we're actually really looking for people that have recovered from COVID-19 mm. to donate their antibodies. One convalescent plasma donation can treat up to five patients that are battling the disease. So that is, of course, high priority, but still we're looking for all types just to stack that to replenish that that stack absolutely like many things blood has a shelf life just like milk or eggs um, so there's a shelf life to blood so we're always needing the repeat donors people that keep coming in because here in Jacksonville we never know what's going to happen we have accidents every day we also have major trauma centers here where people are flown into for heart attacks and strokes and those procedures typically need some units of blood to help that patient through the process who can donate Anyone that's in general health, right now actually only 37% of the population that's eligible to donate, only 5% of those do. Um, so you need to be in good health, definitely not experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19. We have a whole list of health requirements since we are monitored by the FDA, but pretty much if you're in good health, you're not on any chemotherapy or antibiotic drugs, you're good to go. And we would love to see you. We welcome first time donors. Um, so we'd love to see you just come by and save some lives with us. And of course, some of those restrictions are applicable to a large audience of people who might want to donate. To find out more information on uh, whether you can or cannot donate, where can people go? Absolutely. You can go to our website, lifesouth.org. We have a whole bunch of information for prospective donors. Um, since this is National Blood Donor Month, we encourage people to come out, bring a friend with you. Sometimes once they see the process, it's not quite as scary as you might think. <laughs> Karen, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Have a wonderful day.